Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video about how to edit videos using iMovie. I'm actually going to show you nine steps on how I edit my videos using iMovie and I hope at least some of them will be helpful and teach you some new tips and tricks from the iMovie editing studio. These nine steps include planning your video, getting your equipment ready, basic editing, cropping, overlays, green screens, adding screenshots, adding music and color grading your video. Then boom, you're done, upload it and get ready to do your next one. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, I'm Janet and this new channel is called Social Media Growth Hacks and is all about how to grow your following on Instagram, your blog and YouTube. So if you would like to watch more videos like this about growing your social media and making some money along the way, do be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification below. Let's get started. Okay, step one when editing a video is simply to plan out your video. You can just do it as a draft email or in notes. Write your intro, your outro, and then all the different subheadings or various topics that you're going to talk about. So have your whole video planned out so you know exactly what you want to do when it comes to filming and when it comes to editing. Number two is all about equipment. So right now I'm filming on my Canon EOS M50 camera. Um, I've got a tripod. I always have a spare lens on hand just in case I want to change. I have another tiny little tripod. Or if you don't have a camera, you can just use your phone. I also use my laptop. I have my MacBook Pro. And then I use iMovie, which is actually pre-installed on my MacBook. That's it. Number three is some basic editing tips. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna zoom you guys right in now and I'm gonna share my screen with you and you can see exactly what I talk about when it comes to basic editing, importing files and getting the basic sort of lineup of your files and your video. So to start with, I just click file and then import. I go to the folder where my files are. Um, this is the editing files, so I click all and then I import them all into iMovie. So you can see them, they're all up on the left here. Then I'm going to pick the very first clip that I need and I'm going to pull it down to the timeline down here. One of the first things I do then is adjust the volume. As you can see, those little uh, yellow and red bits mean that the volume is too high. So I bring it down a little bit. I now edit all my clips of me talking to take out anywhere where I say um or like or where I mispronounce a word and then say it again. So I'm essentially splitting up one large clip into lots of smaller clips so that it flows better in my video. Number four is cropping. So right now I'm zooming in on my face, I'm zooming out on my face, I'm slowly moving in a Ken Burns style across the video. There's a lot of cool video cropping techniques that you can use. They're super simple on iMovie and here's how to do them. I'm going to start the editing process by splitting the main clip into lots of smaller clips so I know which parts I want to zoom in on, which parts I want to zoom out on, and which parts I want to do a Ken Burns that zooms across the screen. I'm going to click the cropping tool up here. I'm going to select Ken Burns and then I'm going to have the start point as the whole screen and the end point zoomed in on my face to get a zoomed in effect. And then I'm going to go back to the timeline and preview it to make sure the zoom in effect works. For clip number two, I'm going to crop it and click Ken Burns again. But this time I'm going to have the start point zoomed in and the end point as the whole screen to have a zoom out effect. For the final clip, I'm going to click Ken Burns again but this time I'm going to have the start point on the right hand side of the screen and the end point on the left hand side. So it zooms across the screen smoothly. Okay, number five is overlays. So sometimes when I'm talking, like right now, I want to show something else on the screen. Like I might want to show one of my old YouTube videos. I might want to show my analytics. I might want to show my Facebook page. So you can really easily insert these overlays on your video. And here's how to do it. First off, you just import the images you want, like this screenshot of a video, my Facebook page, and my analytics. You then pick the clip where you want to put the overlay, and you drag it down. So you drag down the clip from up here, and you put it above the clip of you talking. You can change the length of the screenshot, so maybe you only want it to be one second long, or two seconds long, and then you can move it to put them together as well. You can also crop the screenshot. So you just click the cropping tool, click crop to fish, and then make it as big or as small as you would like to fill the screen. If you want the screenshot but in a smaller format, click crop, then click picture in picture 
and you can put the picture really small inside your video like this. And then you'll see this beautiful cropped video screen recording right here. Another cool tip I like to use is green screen. So there's a green screen feature within iMovie and then to get the the picture or whatever it is that you want to insert, I normally go to Keynote, which is also free and inbuilt on the MacBook. And then I kind of play around with cool text or cool animation. And then I put a green background and then I export it to QuickTime, import it to iMovie, and then you use the, the iMovie green screen effect. And that means you can have really cool text overlay or I could just make like a random house drop in here. It's pretty fun to play around with. Make sure to put a green background export um, in QuickTime, import to iMovie, and then you get some really cool free effects for your videos. Number seven is adding screenshots. So if I like to talk about one of my previous videos, I'll either do like a screen recording of it, or I will do a screenshot of it, and then I like to insert it into this video. So it's kind of like what I was talking before. This is the picture within picture feature. You just select the photo you would like to use, drag it down on top of where you are speaking, Click this button here and then click picture in picture and then you can move it to wherever you like on the screen. For reasons unknown, iMovie likes to Ken Burns crop the picture, so you'll have to go back, click crop and make it the size that you like. Number eight is about adding music. So sometimes I'll have music over my video. You won't even notice it because it is so quiet. It's literally one or two percent of the normal volume, but it is nice in case there's any lulls in me talking or any parts where there's no talking at all to have a tiny little bit of background music. So I actually use Epidemic Sound. You can also use YouTube to download no copyright music, which means you won't get in trouble when you use that music on your videos. It's really simple. You just download the music, import it to iMovie, and then whereas you were putting the photos on top of you talking, you're gonna put the music below where you were talking. That's the same with voice recording, and you can use your um, iMovie to do a voice recording as well. It's super easy. Just click the little microphone symbol, record your voice and you can do a really cool long voice over if you please. Then that goes below the video. So I could turn off me talking now and record a voiceover instead just to see what the difference is like. And as you can see that was like a voice recording I put in um, instead of me talking. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. You just put the music down at the bottom. You can also adjust the volume, whether you want it really loud or really soft, and you can zone it in and zone it out. So it's pretty simple, and I definitely recommend adding in a little bit of music or a little bit of voice recordings if you can. Lastly is color grading. This is something I do before I export my video. Like right now, I'm looking at my screen. I'm like, oh my God, Janet, you're so bright. So I could just adjust it like, this, whoa, now it's really dark. Um, this is just on my camera. It's a bit better, still a bit bright. Yeah, so it's very bright as you can see, but what I can do is I can color grade it within iMovie. There's this tiny little icon up here and you can change the brightness, you can change the saturation, you can change all of the different types of coloring, you can make it sharper or less sharp. Um, and there's also a thing called color match. So if I wanted, this exact shot to look like my other shots in the video I'll click the color match and then it will pick the color from that video and match it to the color in this video so there's some nice continuity and it will look similar the whole way through the video which is very pleasing for the eye so guys those are my nine tips my nine basic tips for editing on iMovie I hope they were helpful I'm sure someday I will go into um, a bit more detail on some of these tips and tricks like especially with Keynote I think people would love to um, understand a little bit deeper on how to use Keynote to do very cool animated effects on iMovie videos but I do hope it was helpful if you liked it don't forget to do a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this about social media growth hacking do be sure to subscribe down below. Thanks for watching and let's grow our social media together. If you have a bit of free time and would like to learn more about growing your YouTube, growing your Instagram or starting a travel blog, do be sure to check out my other videos. I'm going to give you a little preview of my last video right here. Today I'm going to be talking about a question a lot of you have been asking. How much money do YouTubers really make? 
let's get right into it. I'm gonna put up my uh, YouTube analytics on the screen so that you can take a look at my main channel that is Janet Newenham. It is a travel vlog channel. Um, I actually had to grow it for about two years before it grew any sort of momentum whatsoever. Um, I had already uploaded about 100 travel vlogs before I even got to 1,000 subscribers. So it's now at about 12,000 subscribers and I actually just hit the 1 million viewpoint. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and now I'm going to show you exactly how much money I earned from this 1 million views. As you can see there in the YouTube analytics, I actually only made 786 euro from the million views over the past five months. So it's not really that much money. You probably might've thought it was a lot more. And I definitely do think it depends on where the views are coming from, where the content is about, and what the topic is. So mine were travel vlogs, but I have heard that vlogs or videos, should I say, about technology, cars, um, finance, and even beauty make a lot more money than this. So just to compare, I've I've decided I'm going to call up four of my uh, very successful and much larger YouTube um, successful YouTube friends and I'm going to see how much money they're making from YouTube. Let's do it. 